In this video, I will be discussing how to optimize and speed up Windows 10 for better performance. I have listed uh, some 10 tasks here in order to optimize and speed up Windows 10. So I will demonstrate them one at a time. Number one is run the performance troubleshooter. There are two things you can do this. You can use the settings and you can use the control panel. So for the settings, you click on set, click here, settings, date and security, update and security, troubleshoot, okay. And here, uh, these are some apps that you can troubleshoot. Uh, so for example, uh, there's a problem with Bluetooth. Uh, you can use this one want to fix it. Uh, network adapter, the powers. One experience I have is that um, some charging problem with a laptop can be fixed here. Okay, depending if it's a major one, then that cannot be fixed. But for minor one, uh, under Windows Update, you can fix it here. Okay, so what you'll do is, for example, Bluetooth. Click here, then run the troubleshooter. It will troubleshoot it, uh, in including Wi-Fi access. Uh, your this one can use to check your Wi-Fi connectivity if there's a problem. One problem that I experience is uh, you'll notice that your Wi-Fi uh, indicator says that you have less number of bars, even if you are near the access point. So one solution for that is you might try this one click this one and troubleshoot okay so the next one is you can use control panel click control panel here and then troubleshooting here here you can troubleshoot a lot of things here like internet systems and security or programs so for example you have a problem with hard sound you can check it here Okay, you click advance, you can apply repair automatically. Okay. Or if you have some problem with your network adapter, okay, run as administrator. This one right requires run as administrator. Okay. Uh, another one is to delete programs you never use. Which means you are going to uninstall softwares that you are rarely using it or you're not using anymore. So there are two things to uninstall programs uh, one is click on the settings and then the apps then the apps and features okay so all applications are here there are two different kinds of applications here one application these are applications that you install software that you install these are uh, apps installed when you install your windows so if you are uninstall an application you click here then click uninstall if you uninstall an apps, there are other options like click the advanced option here. Uh, you can terminate an app, or if there's a problem, the app is not working, you can repair it, or you can reset, or here you can uninstall. And the next one is you can control control panel. Click on the control panel again. You go to programs and features uh, okay you here you can uninstall software that you are not using anymore so for example here click this one then click the uninstall at the top or right click and uninstall okay I'll uninstall that later another one is there are some windows features that are not really important so for example here check if you have some for example if these are enabled for me I'm not using Internet Explorer so I will disable that okay okay so and the next one is limit how many programs running at startup the solution for this is to run MS config so to do that press window key in your keyboard then R and type MS config enter here uh, you click on the startup open task manager 
and all these programs are executed at a startup so sometimes there are some programs that you don't like to be uh, starting as soon as you start your computer so you can disable them for me I already disabled all you click the file and disable here okay so that's how you disable them at task manager another one is you go to services uh, you have to hide all Microsoft services so that you only limit if other third-party services so for example if uh, Adobe Acrobat update is enabled so you have to disable it for me I already disabled all the things that I don't like to be exec running at startup okay and the next one so clean hard drive for unwanted files so there are uh, number one you have to delete the temporary files and temp folder to execute that you type window R then type temp okay temp and ah for me I already deleted all the temporary files so if you have a lot of files here you just control A and delete them it's safe to delete and you will notice that every day files are accumulated here and they are occupying a lot of space in your in your drive another is the percent temp so you window R again type percent temp percent these are uh, temporary files in your profile click here and all right select all control A to select uh, delete continue and you will notice here there are some files that you cannot delete because uh, they are currently being used by Windows so enable this then click the skip uh, okay you just cancel that one okay so we deleted two f a group of uh, files it's from temp and from percent temp another one is to clear recent activity so you click here settings then um, you go to privacy then activity history the, the reason for this is that uh, the activity history stores all the, the files that you have opened all the recent activity that you have done in Windows so if you are not going to clear this one it accumulates a lot of space saved in your drive so in here make you sure that this is disabled then you click the clear okay that's it so that's how you clear this one then the next one run this cleanup so at search type this cleanup if you have uh, more than one drive it will appear here you go to drive select drive C okay so here you check all the files that you would like folders I'm sorry that you would like to clean I don't like to clean my download so you can click OK you can also use system cleanup if you like uh, click delete all files uh, it's safe to delete this one because these are temp unwanted files huh? continue okay another way to delete temporary files is you you do it through settings so click on settings uh, go to system then storage and you will notice your temporary files is here uh, and you will also see uh, the, the size of each app and features other people other your mail so what you can clean here is only this one temporary file click it then enable all those folder exit for download if you don't like to delete the content of the download folder then remove files okay I click all right then the next one is run system file check so you have to cmd run as administrator and SFC is can now okay for this cleanup I am using a free software for this uh, I am using 
3 size 3 ok this one open this one and download this uh, this one is very good software I will demonstrate you how to use it click here uh, for example I will check drive D right click it's already here 3 size free and it asks me for restart as administrator and you will notice here all the folders with corresponding uh, files are here uh, you can select files that you would like to delete here for example it's recycle bin yeah you can delete it right delete you can delete for recycle bin delete this one delete this one. delete okay all right then the next one is turn off visual effects adjust appearance and performance so you type adjust all right i would like to discuss something here if you have to choose uh, from appearance or performance so for example if your desktop or laptop is very very slow or with a limited memory like for example less than 4 gigabyte ram and i3 so basically that is very slow uh, machine so i would suggest you use this one adjust the best performance problem there is the display is not clear it's like you know it's not it's not like using windows 10 oh, what you will do is i am using this one let windows choose then later on you just disable for me i don't like this one then apply another one is turn off start menu ads you can go to settings you go to settings systems and notification and here uh, i don't turn it off so you just uh, identify the items that you will turn it turn off so for example you, I'm for me I am not using VOIP so you uncheck it and there are some apps that you don't like them to be running huh? and display notification so you can turn them off for me I, I only enable Outlook the rest I turn it off the next one is uh, turn off apps running in the background so you can click on settings again privacy background app okay so again there are a lot of apps that you don't like to be running in your windows for example i don't need alarm and clock so i turn it off i need calculator so turn it on candy crush friends you disable it so all the apps that you don't like to be available in your windows you disable it here and run fewer programs at a time I would like to explain that you know if you are using a computer or laptop with less memory and uh, lower processing speed I would suggest you run program at a time like for example if you run a Chrome browser uh, that's it uh, don't run too many browsers for example I installed four browsers here you only run one at a time or if you are going to Microsoft Word that's it don't open Excel or PowerPoint maybe you can open from time to time but make it sure that you only use minimize running too many programs at a time another suggestion that I have I can discuss is restart regularly uh, the reason for this is that it will clean up your uh, your cache memory and some of the files that are running as part of your custom memory will be removed free up your memory space too and if you have already done the 10 and still uh, it's very very slow for you and the last option is either you add memory to a little bit increase the memory capacity of your desktop or laptop or if it's already old uh, if it's already running for almost a year I would recommend you reset Windows if uh, for example you notice that there are some problems with the hard drive 
formatting is the solution but we reset windows is uh, best because it's faster you just click on settings and uh, you go to security and sec update and security then you click on recovery under the recovery uh, start now click the start now it allows there's an option that pop ups and it says you either you reset the systems and clean all user profiles or clean all both user profile and all the applications installed only bare windows is uh, available in that way you is like you're starting a newly formatted uh, computer so uh, that's the end of my discussion i hope you learn from this uh, tips that I have presented to you this thank you thank you for listening please like and subscribe